welcome again to this great show, Elevate Youth. We are always here, tuned on Mamlaka TV 830, you know, every Wednesday. And we are so much glad to have you again. And today, my name is John Karioki, and you are so much welcome as you are speaking about youth and investment. Amwamboi Mwangi, welcome once again. Wow, and you know, being great show, which we have lined up for you, one thing I would like to congratulate and even to thank my great fri friends and fans who have been watching us very consistently. You know what I want to watch from the first episode, what we talk about specifically, you know, Elder Amos Karyuki, Wanema Furniture. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much, Watu Wanaishi. Tunashukuru sana. Kunajua kitu moja. As you stay tuned to this channel, as you stay tuned to this show, you are going to learn more as we are navigating faith and life. And now, in that, let us get the intro of our today's topic as we welcome our guests. Thank you so much. Yeah, today my people, we are going to discuss about investment and uh, it's a wide topic. And I think we will be blessed and we will get something together because that is what is prepared for us today. Mm. And my people, without further ado, allow me to introduce our guest today yes who will take us to the next step wow. welcome sir welcome. thank you thank you wow. very much wow. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much welcome yeah and let us know you sir again uh, remind the viewers you are you. with you the other time sure yes yes yeah we were together during the first episode mm. and uh, my name is uh, tindibale edward and as it has been indicated our discussion basically today will be focused on youths and investment mm. and the the main focus mm -hmm. that we want to mm -hmm. to ensure that is attainable yes, yes. is that when a youth mm -hmm. invests mm -hmm. and works alone in investment mm -hmm. then that's a risk that's a risk that's a risk but if a youth mm -hmm. does investment and works with god mm -hmm. in the investment process yes, yes. then that is grace wow Wow. So we want to take them through the grace process and wow. not the rest mm -hmm. process. Wow. You know, Skirizaj, you know, Mtazamaji, what we have lined up for you. We are not only thinking about the spiritual perspective, yeah. but also looking, you know, at our daily life, the way we are going to live. Also, as you have said, that we are investing by grace. It's a grace of God that is helping us in that. And, you know, but now, let us know, what is investment? And as a young person, should I be concerned about this investment and why? Uh, it is very important mm -hmm. for a young person to be concerned with uh, investment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because an investment mm -hmm. is, um, is an asset mm -hmm. or an item mm -hmm. that... Um, one attains yes. mm -hmm. with uh, two objectives or more. Yes. Okay. One of them being expecting returns uh -huh. or mm -hmm. uh, expectations for appreciation. Yes. Okay. If it's land, mm -hmm. you expect that it will appreciate yes. in cost. Maybe mm -hmm. you buy it at 300,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then by in 10 years time, mm -hmm. you expect it should be selling at maybe 800,000, yes. that's appreciation. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Then if it's a business that you've put in your money, mm -hmm. you will expect that at the end of maybe uh, one year mm -hmm. or six months, yes. you expect some returns. Yes, yes. So when you, you focus on, um, on the element of uh, appreciation mm -hmm. or returns that mm -hmm. comes from an asset or an item, mm -hmm. then that is basically investment. And in short, Kusema, before I will uh, let uh, Eliza uh, go ahead, is yeah. Kusema ni menunua kitu, mm -hmm. kutoka kwa duka furani. Mm -hmm. Ni menunua hiyo kitu, maybe at 2,000 shillings. Yes. Na ni yende ni uzie mtu mingine, at 3,000 shillings. With that call, investment. Okay, when, when we, we, we bring in the concept of investment, yes. there are three things we look at. Yes. We are looking at uh, money, uh -huh. we are looking at time, yes. and we are looking at the risks involved. Okay. Yeah, so... It's not just buying something, okay. then you go and sell it. Oh, okay. yeah, it, it, it. You must, first of all, uh, have a foundation. Like oh, okay. I have a business. Mm -hmm. okay. And my business uh -huh. is maybe buying, uh -huh. uh, let me say, maybe 
fertilizer yes. Yes. Yeah, from suppliers. Yes. Yes. And then I go and sell the fertilizer. Yes. Okay. But it's not an aspect of saying that today I will buy fertilizer, mm -hmm. tomorrow I will buy sugar, oh, okay, okay. then the following day I will, be, I will buy maybe a loaf of bread uh -huh. uh, from the suppliers at maybe 60 shillings okay. and sell it at 65. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It must be something that has a foundation. Okay. Okay. It's not just buying something then you sell. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because uh, uh, for, for that short duration, mm -hmm. that means that maybe your intention was not even selling, mm -hmm. but it's as a result of seeing somebody mm -hmm. who wants to buy it. At seeing a, the need. Yeah, you're yeah, seeing the need. Uh -huh. Or maybe after seeing the value of mm -hmm. something. Yes. Maybe you buy a phone mm -hmm. at 10,000. Yes. And yes. someone tells you, I like this phone. Yeah. I can give you 12,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know that you are not planned to sell the phone. Yes, I So not. that is not an investment. Okay. It is just a, a something that has arised, uh -huh. a need okay. that you feel like I'm making 2,000. Uh -huh. Yes. But if your plan is you want to do a business of selling phones, okay. uh -huh. then you'll have a shop. Uh -huh. Then line up the phones. Okay. Then buy them at maybe eight thousand, and you are selling them at ten, mm. twelve thousand. Okay. Then that's an investment. Oh, okay. yeah. wow, that's great. Then that's if I should ask, yeah, when you buy and uh, sell something that is a commodity, yes, you make profit, yes, and that is what we call business. Now, what is the difference between that one and now investing? That is investment. Then the profit you are making, those are returns. Mm -hmm. You have a business, you are running a shop, mm -hmm. yeah, you are running a cafeteria. Mm -hmm. That's an investment because mm. you've put in your money. Okay. You've put your money in those items. Uh -huh. Then the, 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 the profit you are making, those are returns. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, I've got about uh, investment. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Why should a youth invest? Is uh, there any need or it's just normal? Yeah. yeah. No, the, 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 there is um, more than enough reasons to give mm -hmm. why a youth should invest. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them, the obvious one is uh, investment as a young person mm -hmm. uh, enables the young person to improve on spending habits and financial knowledge. Uh -huh. Yeah, your spending habits mm -hmm. grow uh -huh. when you invest as a young person. Uh -huh. Because if you start investing today, uh -huh. by 2027, uh -huh. your spending habits by 2027 uh -huh. will have improved. Okay. Mm. Yeah, compared to when you started investing and even when you had not started investing. Mm -hmm. And even your financial knowledge mm. will have improved because mm -hmm. you will have known where to get supplies. Yes, yes. You will have known your customer. In fact, the more you stay into investment process, mm -hmm. you, you no longer uh, end up having customers. Mm -hmm. You end up having clients. Mm -hmm. uh, this, okay. you know, a customer is anyone who just pass by and okay. buy. Mm -hmm. But a client is someone who believes in your expertise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you are running a salon, mm -hmm. and some people feel like maybe you, you, you do good hair, mm -hmm. dressing, or it's a barber shop, you shave so well, mm -hmm. and then these people start coming monthly. Mm -hmm. They are no longer customers, they mm -hmm. are clients. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you've learned how to retain them. Yes. Because mm -hmm. you started your business okay. early as a youth. Mm -hmm. Then another reason or another factor why one person should, a youth should invest or mm -hmm. the significance of investing as a youth. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you are able to handle risks. Mm -hmm. If you start investing at 58 years mm -hmm. and then your business collapses mm -hmm. when you are 60, mm -hmm. you can't recover. Uh, no, no. no. I, in fact, you, you will have uh, some illness. You may develop pressure. No, not even pressure. Yeah. Trauma and death. Sure. <laughs> but if you are 28 uh -huh. and your business collapses at 30, uh -huh. you have a recovery period. Yes. Okay. So you invest as a youth, uh -huh. you have a recovery period. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can be able to take uh -huh. a number of risks yes. okay. that can put you in a better place. Uh -huh. And then we also have um, the most important one. You, you grow your financial future. Mm. Mm -hmm. Invest today, then be sure by the time you turn 30, 35, by the time you exit the youth age, mm -hmm. you, you have a good future. Mm -hmm. okay. Rather than starting investing at 45 mm -hmm. and you have a, a son in high school. Mm. It's hard. It's so like hard. Any, any returns you make, mm -hmm. they are going to school yes, fees. Yes, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, there, there are many reasons. We can't oh. exhaust them. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And that, that, that's, that's great. By the way, I've, I've viewed it in a, in a good way. One thing I've, I've gotten from what you've said yeah. is, now, investment is a matter of time. Sure. Mm -hmm. It takes time. Yes. It takes capital. It yeah. takes prior planning yes. more yeah. mm -hmm. and looking to the future rather than meeting the need today. Sure. Uh, I have gotten In that. In fact, I, I can uh, justify another important point. Yes. You start investing as a youth today. Uh -huh. 
you, you raise your money temperature. Mm -hmm. There's something we call mm -hmm. money temperature. <laughs> uh, money temperature mm -hmm. is the amount of money mm -hmm. when you have it, mm -hmm. you behave normally. Okay. You are comfortable. Mm -hmm. No <laughs> imbalance spending. Hakuna kusema kunywa soda nitalipa kwa my bill. If you are annoyed, once you answer kuambia watu nitakutuanga na nikupele kwa hospital. You behave normally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, if someone borrows you money, mm -hmm. you tell them I'm broke. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So, uh, there are some people mm -hmm. whom their money temperature is so low. Mm -hmm. Like, it's 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. Akiwa na miatano, ako comfortable. Mm -hmm. Ukimpele kumoja, hapatikani. Uh, Hapata anapotea. Uh, hapatikani, uh, amende watu. Uh, Because alipewa uh, kumoja, uh, aenda as chop yo 500 itoke. Uh, Abaki na enyamezoya. Uh, uh, Ndiyo saa anarudi, anatulia. Ya, yeah, anakulo. Yeah. So, you see, when you start investing early, uh, you raise your money temperature. Uh -huh. yeah, you raise it by the time you turn 35, uh, it's a, a, above maybe 3 million. Uh, so, okay. if you get a loan of 2 million, you spend wisely. Yes, yes, yes. But, do, have a low money temperature. Uh -huh. Then you land on a on um, probably money equivalent to 5 million. Mm -hmm. And your money temperature is uh, 100,000. Mm. Do you know that you have a lot of money above your money temperature? I, so you will be forced you to start buying yes. mm. for MCS seat, yes. which you will not win. <laughs> <laughs> People will just eat your money. And then you are left with 100,000, mm -hmm. then finally mm. you start behaving. Oh, okay. yeah, that's when you remember to go to church. Mm -hmm. That's when you remember to say hi to people. Yes. So the earlier you start investing, the earlier you raise your money temperature. I think I love that. Yeah. I love that. I think that that's great. And each one of us have we have our own money temperature. Yes, yes. Yeah, I don't know what's your money temperature. Like, uh, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, uh, 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 or 10,000. The 10K. Story of another. Yeah. <laughs> and your money temperature? I, I think it's 200, 100 liters. Can you pick your money to go Yeah. You know, no one lip. So, 199,000, you behave normally. Yeah, you behave normally. But plus 1,000, Bob? Hey! Uh, That's here, but not a caribou. Then, then after you this show, mm. you, we will raise your money temperature <laughs> to 2 million. Yeah, thank you. Uh, move yeah, away from 200,000. Uh, mm. Sure. Ta, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I love that. And uh, mm. I, I hope, you know, I hope this show is, is helping you more and understanding what you are speaking about investment. It's not only applied to young people, but also even to those about not to watch, about their uh, new wetu. You know, another thing I would, I would like us to look at, yeah. even as we are looking why a, as a youth should I invest. Now, can we, can we, try, can we help us understand as an expertise in this thing? Now, what are the challenges? Oh, when you say, I'm going to go to church, 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 you know, to go to church, but sometimes investment is not a good thing. You have to go to church, you have to go to church, you have to go to church, you have to go to church. No, what are the challenges that are there that young people are facing or are going through that is limiting them to invest? In, in especially, let, let us look at this point, what we want to say about church. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm also a, a student of investment, yeah. uh, so I'm not an expert. Okay, so thank uh, you. I'm, uh, I'm, we are all students. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, of salvation, mm -hmm. students of faith, yes. student of saving mm -hmm. culture. Yes. We are always learning, uh -huh. and when we learn, mm -hmm. now we share with those yes. who need to get this information. Yes. Uh -huh. So th th there is a conflict uh -huh. between the youths uh -huh. in the church uh -huh. and investment. Yes, uh -huh. you'll find that. 80% of the youths mm -hmm. who, are, who, are, who are engaging in investment mm -hmm. are not in the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure, in one way or another. 80% of them who are, like you go to outside mm -hmm. in, in, our, in our city mm -hmm. and you check around, mm -hmm. you find that the business that is booming mm -hmm. amongst the youths, mm -hmm. most of them are not in the church. Yeah, sure. Then it the 20% mm -hmm. who are in the church, yes. mm -hmm. they are not in investment. Mm -hmm. So, what are the factors that are making the youths in the church not to invest? Mm -hmm. There are a number of them that yes. we can even uh, raise. Yes, yes. Uh, the church has um, focused much on um, spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. uh, the youth grows up to be a wholesome mm -hmm. uh, being mm -hmm. that um, um, can really maneuver mm -hmm. around a number of temptations mm -hmm. and overcome. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. this youth has not learned how to invest. Mm -hmm. So the church should uh, bring in a dimension mm -hmm. of, apart from 
educating the young people uh -huh. on matters to do with spirituality, yes. matters to do with education, uh -huh. matters to do with the relationship uh -huh. where emphasis is laid. Uh -huh. Why don't you also teach them about investment? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We can expose them to um, through networking. Yes. Yeah. Apart from maybe having a, a conference where we are just discussing the word of God, we are having Bible study. Yeah. We can also have a session where we invite mm -hmm. uh, business partners mm -hmm. okay. that come and talk to our young people yes. in the church uh -huh. about investment. Mm -hmm. Then most of our churches even have cars. Mm -hmm. We can have a group of young people. We tell them, uh, you, will be, you are going to start up an investment of a car wash. Yes. Mm -hmm. You'll be washing the, 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 the church cars. Yes. Okay. If there are five, and yeah. they are washing them every weekend, yeah. uh -huh. 200 each. Uh -huh. Uh, that's a thousand every weekend. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. And maybe they can be washed even more than maybe yeah. uh, twice a week. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have a session of the youths, mm -hmm. a section getting money from car wash investment. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. And then we have um, uh, some youths, they, they have little capital. Yes. Mm -hmm. Someone is earning like 12,000, uh -huh. you are paying a rent of 4,000, you are left with eight. Uh -huh. You are paying type, maybe 1,200. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You are paying um, offering uh -huh. 200 per Sunday, maybe uh -huh. that's 800. Uh -huh. Then you need food. At the end of the day, there will be other things that will come up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Charge projects. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which the youths have to take part. Yes. yes. And they don't have the money. Yes. Oh, but oh, mm -hmm. They don't have but the money. But I go negative. Yeah. Yes. So they will drain them. Mm -hmm. Then you'll find that uh, there are mi mission trips. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They drain the youths. Yes. In the church. Mm -hmm. And that's why, uh, suppose the church argued this way. Yeah. And said that. Because we have church cars, you do a yeah. car wash. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then also, this carpet needs yeah. to be cleaned. Yes. yes. Churches have carpets. Yes. We can have a, a, a group of youths yes. that can, can start a cleaning project. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they wash carpets and then the church pays them. Mm -hmm. And it's their money. The money they have paid, it's theirs. It's yes. not for the church. Yes. Yeah. And then another section of the youths in the church can be told, yeah. uh, just contribute money. If the youths can be able to raise, uh, let me say, 100,000 mm -hmm. and buy church equipment. Uh -huh. They can still raise one million sure. in two years yes. and buy land, sure. uh -huh. which can appreciate. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that's the, the church needs uh, sometimes milk. Uh -huh. Yeah. The church needs sometimes the church has functions. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. We have functions. People are coming for prayers and all that. Uh -huh. We can have the youths doing catering services. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. They come up with catering services, uh -huh. and they grow up. Uh -huh. They grow up whereby we have our own youths mm -hmm. but they are on doing catering mm -hmm. and they will encourage more youth to join us mm -hmm. but those things are not happening in mm -hmm. the church sure, sure, okay. sure, sure. we are not doing that mm -hmm. instead we hire outside catering mm -hmm. uh, to come and do that mm -hmm. we hire outside cleaning mm -hmm. they come and do the cleaning mm -hmm. yeah we take our church cars to car wash mm -hmm. yeah and then our youths are just there yes mm -hmm. so at the end of the day mm -hmm. this person is so spiritually fit mm -hmm. but when it comes to investment, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I oh. think I may ask something concerning an observation that I've made for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. Between business of now church youths. Yes. And uh, don't care young people. Yeah. Who we have in the society. Yes. Their business do well. Yeah. Concerning to youths of the church. Yes. And uh, if we check on that, there is different in interpersonal skills to handle customers. Yeah. Yeah. The other side, young youth in the society, handle customers well compared to youth in the church. Yes. Do you, may you have a crew on what is happening? Because according to my way of thinking, I think the one in the church should handle them better. Yes, yes, yes. Because they have been taught on discipline, politeness, but to kifika kwa market field, to napata mambo ni tofauti. Yeah, there is minimal mentorship mm -hmm. in the church mm -hmm. in okay. relation to uh, youths and investment. Yeah. They, 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 during the day when the youths come to the church, uh, their interaction is basically uh, revolves around the word of God. Mm -hmm. This youth who is not in the church, uh, his interaction in the course of the day is around handling customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you see, the two are world apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why, in the church, we should have just a 
just like we have a department for music, mm -hmm. we have a department for praise and worship, mm -hmm. we should also have just a section for youth mentorship on mm -hmm. uh, leadership, mm -hmm. investment, yes. mm -hmm. savings, yeah. yes. okay. and we ensure that they are growing. Yeah. Okay. We, we don't wait until it's December mm -hmm. when the youths have come for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then, in fact, we don't even call them for business ideas. No. Mm -hmm. We call them for how are they going to behave mm -hmm. yeah. during that season. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so we must uh, ensure that as a church, mm -hmm. as we focus on, uh, on uh, spiritual growth, mm -hmm. as we focus on faith, mm -hmm. yeah, let the youths not just compete on the dress code in the church. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Some are pushed mm. to, to, to dress uh, elegant. elegantly, mm. not because mm. uh, uh, they, they are able to do that, no. mm. but because probably um, they, they, there are other things that are pushing them. Yes. Mm. Then at the end of the day, you realize that the youth who is, I'm not saying that, that you should not dress well. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, we cannot spend all the money always on raising yes. young people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when we can start setting a foundation for for investment wow. as yeah. early as it is. Yeah. I think uh, that's a good point, and uh, I think uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a learning point for us yeah. as young people, mm -hmm. and also for those who are wakonyumbani wana to angalia. I'm getting is this that now the young people, those who are in the church. Let's speak the youth in the church. Yes. And uh, we are focusing on this, uh, speaking about how can we invest. Mm -hmm. And now, how can we invest all the things that have been a challenge and a hindrance for us as young people? Now you see there's no setup, there's no mentorship, there, there are no platform even to grow, there's no opportunity. It is only, it's not focused in that direction. Mm -hmm. And now there's something you've said about, in my comparison, in my reasoning, uh, is this that, Look at this. This young, uh, the, the youths who are in the church. Yes. How are happy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. How are you to me as you They don't have. Na, yes, they are employed. Maybe you like, at a moment, maybe are employed by Harvey. You see, mm -hmm. they don't have that luxury of doing all that. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to investment, there is none because of something you have said. Kujaribu kimbizana na trend yanguo zidesiko watu wan kitenge ile metokea na ile ita you know those kind of things. But now, yes, there are some things that we should be involved in. We should partner hata kusaidia church in in decoration in those kind of things when it comes to money. But now, what should we do? Or what should these young people who really desire to invest? Na juu sasa sasa tunakuja kwa churches young people wana tunakuja tunapiga mop. Magoti, mm. to kiombe wana, to kita out anointing on. Iri mm. atatu mm. uh, jiriwe kwa makampuni kubwa wana, to fanyo mbiyasha wako. You see those kind of uh, ideology. Mm. And yet, there is very little mentorship. Mm -hmm. Having that little mentorship, what should we tell? Oh no, what do you think we should do? Specifically, the practical steps, starting point. What will be our start point, starting point? Knowing that, yes, tumejua, hatuna mentorship ukweli. Atuna opportunity. Atuna, maybe, okay, the avenues are growth in business, but what should we do if in that state? What should we do specifically? Okay, there are a number of ways we can address that. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, as uh, I had given a hint, mm -hmm. we should have a, a well-organized mentorship programs within mm -hmm. the church, mm -hmm. uh, far away, uh, apart from um, spiritual mentorship. Yes. We should also have the uh, mentorship Mm -hmm. uh, le uh, skills with regard to savings, investments, yes. leadership, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then after that, we should now present uh -huh. the youths to opportunities. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they can start with there are a number of them. Peer-to-peer yeah. uh, -peer lending. Yes. Uh, whereby youths come together and they start a business. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They start a business uh -huh. whereby at the end of uh, maybe maybe one year uh -huh. they can share the proceedings. Yes. Yeah. Even the church can give them that opportunity, uh -huh. a business within the... Like, most churches have canteens. Yes. And they run small shops. Yes. Uh -huh. They can say the shop is under the management of the youths. Yes. It's their investment. Yes. Uh -huh. The only thing they will pay is rent. Yes. Uh, because probably the, 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 the structure belongs yes. to the church. Yes. Uh -huh. So they will pay rent. Uh -huh. So the church will be getting the rent. Yes. But the youths are getting the proceedings. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this will keep them around. Yes. Because they will also have to clean the church and all that. Yes and do their business. Mm -hmm. But now, as you continue, yeah. 
at this point there is say akusema bwana hii ni kazi ya Mungu mm. ni huduma bwana yeah. ni huduma bwana kwa hivyo tujitolee so, i know i, I know that yes. yeah uh, I, I where with that now when that be that part of huduma 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 <laughs> itakosekana <laughs> uh, you know the point is this uh, if we dwell on, um, on on just having the youth um, i'm not saying that the youth should not give all <laughs> to god <laughs> yeah we should we should dedicate our time to god yes mm -hmm. but you know as a church mm -hmm. if you don't prepare me uh -huh. to learn how to invest as a youth uh -huh. when i will become a church leader uh -huh. i will miss all the church funds sure because you didn't teach me how yes. to invest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so when i become uh, i go beyond the the age of youths uh -huh. i become an adult uh -huh. and then I, i may even end up being the most the, the most poor poor treasurer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The church will be fighting when they're even electing a treasurer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we've seen that happening even yes, recently. Yes, sure. Yeah. Uh, on, on media, on, on social media. Yes, yes. The church will fight yeah. because they know this guy cannot be the treasurer uh -huh. because we didn't even teach them about yes. because a treasurer should also be on the panel that yes. we discuss about yes. the investments yes, yes. of the church. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if the church wants to invest mm -hmm. in, a, in in coming up with a welfare bus uh -huh. that will be plying between maybe a uh, town and um, from the city yes. to maybe outskirts of the city. Uh -huh. yeah. That bus can only be uh, well acquired yes. mm -hmm. by a panel that uh -huh. has mentorship, mm -hmm. no, not really mentorship, but, but by a panel that has gone through investment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not just when they're adults, uh -huh. but also when they were youths. Mm -hmm. But if the church cannot focus on that, then I'm telling you uh, by the time will be by 2032 2035 uh -huh. 37 mm -hmm. you know the the young people are now about 28 yes. will be no longer youths yes, mm -hmm. and they, no they will be now the church leaders yes, yes. yeah then you can imagine the generation will have yes. Yes. generations that will not even remember to paint the church yes uh -huh. yeah because we are not doing that mm -hmm. so to say to new duma new duma apana new duma na pia vijana wafunzwe jinsi Uh -huh. yeah queen invest yes. so uh -huh. that when their time comes uh -huh. they are able yes. to run the church okay, okay. Yeah. now i think that that's correct at least i would una, una get here yeah i'm getting that i'm yes. going <laughs> to say the kazi ya mungu according to what i have learned today yes uh si kujitolea tu uh -huh. lakini pia nafaa nifunzwe uh -huh. nijitolee uh -huh. na bado na naekeza kitu yes uh -huh. yeah back to what we said earlier mm. kuhusu nao a customer mm. and a client mm -hmm. yes how will you teach young people to take customers through to give better performance ndio mm. finally yakuje ya kuwe client mwenye mm. atamserve hadi mm. miaka ya youth kisha so um, the church has done well in that you must be honest Okay. You must be faithful. Mm -hmm. You must be obedient. Yeah. You must walk the talk. Mm -hmm. You don't uh, preach water and you, mm -hmm. you take wine. Mm -hmm. So the church has done well in that. Yes. Because uh, that's basically what the church does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there are now other things. Um, uh, apart from uh, obeying the, the the faith foundation. Yes. Mm -hmm. To ensure that you are Uh, depicting yes. good character mm -hmm. you will also have to ensure that your skills the mm -hmm. skills you are trained in yes. let me say you are uh, you are running a barber shop yes. or you are a salonist mm -hmm. or you are doing a you are running a, a small scale business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the way you handle clients mm -hmm. now that also depends on where you trained mm -hmm. if you went to a business school mm -hmm. how did they train you mm -hmm. okay. you know the training from the business school mm -hmm. is enough yes but without the spiritual foundation mm -hmm. yeah. you you may not be sincere sure. to your clients mm -hmm. yeah so you can see the two are are, are, are one thing the mm -hmm. church plays a very important role mm -hmm. on working on your character mm -hmm. and then the institution that has trained you mm -hmm. or even the person who has mentored you mm -hmm. yeah should impart such a skills yes. of yeah. ensuring that when you get a customer mm -hmm. ensure that By the time you serve this customer mm -hmm. more than three times, mm -hmm. the customer becomes a client. Yes. Uh, a client believes in your skills. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Even if you tell them, let's go here, mm -hmm. the client they will I tell you, mimi ufanywa tu pale, naenda tu pale, mimi uziwa pale. Yeah. Even if the cost is high, your mm -hmm. your you you commodities have gone, uh, the prices have gone up. Mm -hmm. A client will just come. 
mm. because of the expertise. Yeah. Okay. No. But a customer uh, is just anyone who comes because yeah, they there's need and they are gone. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So if the church can invert the skills that will we work on uh, mm -hmm. on, on a spiritual foundation, which it, it's doing well. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I'll bring in the element of then you need to invest because yes. now you have good foundation yes. on faith. Mm -hmm. Now you need to have a foundation on investment. Yes. Yeah. And, and line up investment opportunities. Mm -hmm. They are there. They can be told you can invest in this, that, that, that. Mm -hmm. Then you grow. They can't just do one thing. There are a mm -hmm. number of them yes. that they can Actu invest. Actually, I would say there are very many <laughs> yeah. places and avenue of investment. Yes. And in regard to that, I can put this about uh, now about investing on, oh, okay, but uh, training. Yes. Now, as the way we are having trainings of uh, maybe spiritual, okay, encounter and those kind of things, Mambuya Bible, Vitukama, Iso, mm. they are very good. And also, mm. what do you think? Maybe, for example, the way she's putting across about customer relation. Mm. Yes, I may have the integrity. Mm. Uh, I may have the integrity, I may have the other. But now the approach, mm. the communication aspect of mm. it. Mm. Unakuta mtu, unakuta, unamuangereshea, unashindu wakama, hey. Yes, we can use the issue, but the communication mm. between me and the customer becomes an issue. Mm. Should now there be, maybe at a company classes, if it need to be classes, come as you to end a shule, to learn about that, mm. handling. That is, um, the, uh, handling the person, specifically about communication. Because the issue majorly is not necessarily on the ethics, or, or, or the ethics of the person, but now the communication, yeah. now how to handle mm. the person. Mm. Now, should there be uh, classes or even should there be maybe a push by the church that makes sure come to na uh, to na easy business or uh, investment avenue to na letter you to come a hana job to na example like a shule kidogo atakani three months ajifunze kidogo then a come back should there be those kind of amani? No, the the church is already able to handle that. Mm -hmm. uh, if the church can uh, introduce a uh, uh, amenda. Mm -hmm to handle the youths uh -huh. in terms of investment, uh -huh. then that mentor must uh -huh. talk about communication. Uh -huh. And then also, the church has always taken the youths uh -huh. for conferences on leadership. Yes. Uh -huh. And one of the key things youths in the church are taught uh -huh. during leadership uh -huh. sessions uh -huh. is communication. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's something that the church can achieve yes. very fast. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, and, and that, that's great. Yes. Now, it, as we are coming to close and looking at these, uh, now what are her avenues? Opportunities. Now, the, we have just been measured, trying yeah. to measure them. Yeah. But yeah. Where, what are the opportunities, especially which are presented, which are there? Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't see them. Yeah. But are there? For example, I've been thinking, uh, uh, as you come across, I was thinking about this. Turning, you're saying about Baba Shop. Yes. A church has more than 200 people. Yes. Or even 500 people. Yes, yes. A Baba Shop can do very good. Sure. But now, now uh, what are other avenues and what should we do so that we can? Um, we can start this avenue of investment. What can you do? Now, the things that are there. Yeah, there, there are a number of them. Yes. Like, uh, I can expound on farming, mm -hmm. dairy farming. Yes. It can work. Yes. The church needs milk. Yes. Some youths in the church can start dairy farming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a uh, fish farming. Mm -hmm. now, once in a while, we may not just we may not just be eating kelps. Yes. We may also eat fish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is um, mushroom farming. Yes. Mushroom, in fact, is very lucrative yes yeah they can be even exported yes. if the youths are serious yes yeah uh, they are rich in um in uh, a number of minerals yes. phosphorus mm. uh, uh, we have iron we yes. have potassium they are rich in vitamins like uh -huh. vitamin b2 yes the b vitamins yes b1 b2 b3 yes they are nutritious they mm. can engage in, in, in that yes. crop farming yes they can do maize farming uh -huh. peas farming uh -huh. Uh -huh. they can do Beans farming, yes. Irish potatoes. Yes. Yeah, that's one mm. uh, uh, among the bracket of, uh, of yeah. farming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then they can also get into other outside farming. Uh -huh. um, the youths can uh, do catering. Uh -huh. Yeah, catering services. Uh -huh. If we have a baptism function yes. in the church, uh -huh. let the youths come and do catering but now and serve us. And we, they go with that. They have uh, mm -hmm. their own account. Uh -huh. They they keep the money. Uh -huh. yeah. um, we can do the cleaning and um, uh, cleaning of uh, the, the church mm -hmm. or cleaning services. Yes, yes. We can um, involve the youths yes, yes. to come up with a project of just doing cleaning, yes. come uh, car wash services. Mm -hmm. 
they can even there are even some church members who may come to to church on a Sunday, yes. mm. and because it has rained, mm. they agree and say like after church, mm. uh, the youths will have a car wash. Mm -hmm. You will wash for me that car before yes. I go home. Yes. Now imagine if. 50 uh, church members decided mm. to wash their cars yes, yes. Uh, on a Sunday after church service. Not that they cannot do it somewhere else. Yes. They mm. want to promote the youths. Yes. Okay. These youths will stay in the church. Yes. These youths will be available. Yes. Mm. Because later on, when they, they outgrow yes. um, um, that business, yes. mm. or they outgrow the bracket of youths, yes. they yeah. will now open yes. their own business yes. outside yes. there. Mm. Yeah. And they will run it well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There, there are aspects to do with... Um, uh, apart from uh, running those that I've mentioned, yes. yeah. that there are small scale businesses. Yes. People sell smoky, people sell yes. uh, boiled eggs out yes. here, mm -hmm. uh, people do chicken farming. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I know of a youth who is having over 250 hens, mm -hmm. yeah. and each is above uh, 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. yes. So that young person has a lot of money. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there are a number of opportunities mm -hmm. that they can put their hand in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it can take them across the bridge. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Eliza, yes. <laughs> yeah, the, the idea of doing catering in the church, yes. like every Sunday, watoto anahitaji kukura kitu, kukunyo wa kitu. Yes. So, when you to take that idea na move nayo very fast, mm -hmm. ata, ata benefit out of, mm -hmm. out of it. Out of it. Yes. Yeah, on issue also of farming, Nime soma soma. Uh, yeah, like maziwa is needed, uh, egg as well. Uh, na vitu kama hizo zinaweza saidia young people. Yes, yes. At least wajipata wako in a position uh, other than complaining yes. every now and then. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I can also, I also have something. Yes. Real estate. Uh -huh. Yeah, they can do... They are used to able to do even uh, rentals. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very yeah. possible. They can do rentals. Yes. Mm -hmm. The youths who can buy a piece of land, fifty yes. by hundred. Yes. yes. Then give it time to appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. And then make good business. Yes. Yeah. There are youths who can do cryptocurrency. Yes. Yeah. And just work at home. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There are youths who can do investments like um um stock exchange. Yes. Buy okay. shares in a company. Mm. Buy shares in Safaricom. Yes. Mm. Buy shares in um. Mpesa, buy mm. shares in, in KPLC. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then I wait when the opportunity mm -hmm. for better prices mm -hmm. arises. Yes. Sell your shares. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And grow. Mm -hmm. So th 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 there, are, there are many. Yes. But we don't learn these things when we are still under that five. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, wow, wow. I think that, that that's a great thing that we, we are learning today, and mm. yeah, we are so much appreciative, sir, because of even giving your time yeah. to come and teach us and help us to understand these things. Yes, yes. So this this uh, this being my take at home, that knowing that we can be able to invest as young people, yes, the opportunities are there. We just don't want to utilize them. Mm. And now, this is a challenge to you. This is a challenge to you, those who are in charge. Uh, and, uh, and, and even the churches out there, create platform. Today we may, to neza to me, is a pesa kwanzisha uzo to biashara, but you can get the, uh, the return of the same. Mm. And the majority of young people about our church, we give our job, they are so much depressed because mm. they don't know what to do. They can, they can have opportunity, but they cannot have opportunity if mutu haja anzia. So take us the challenge. Please take up the challenge and mm. know that you can be able to invest and even you can be able to work to partner with others. The same same way to Nashikana kwa church. Sindio. To nanunu at a keyboard wana, to keep a to as young people, being very easy. So we can do it. Yeah. So if we stand together, we hold our hands together, we know we can be able. Ata kanim to moja tapata job. To naju at least we have made a milestone. But I ku wajia na kushinda to ki to wait for the opportunity. Mm. Now, thank you so much. I don't know, Eliza, as uh, what you'll be saying to Kim I have to party our guest, then uh, to conclude here. Personally, the point is at all. Yes, yes. Yeah. OK. Yes. Um, my parting shot is that, uh, one, mm -hmm. uh, if you invest alone without God, you mm -hmm. are running a race. Yes. You invest with God, then that is grace. Yes. Two young people should raise their money temperature. Yes. What to watch a kuzoya pesa kidogo kidogo. Yeah, raise your money temperature yes. so that uh, you can be able to go for a good loan and invest. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then uh, three, uh -huh. uh, we can't.
can be able to invest uh -huh. if you have the discipline of saving. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because investment will give returns, mm -hmm. and those returns yes. should be taken back into business. Yes, yes, yes. And if you don't play your cards well, uh -huh. if you play your cards under the table, yes. mm -hmm. that's being dishonest mm -hmm. yeah. with yourself. Yes. Then it can be very uh, dangerous yes, yes. to your integrity as yes. an individual yes. Yes. and even to the people around you. Yes, yeah. So uh, my take home message is that uh -huh. The journey of investment uh -huh. is not a one-day step. Yes. Uh -huh. Young people should just know that every day uh -huh. when a lion wakes up, uh -huh. for it to have a meal, yes. it knows that it has to run faster yes. than the slowest gazelle. Yes. Uh -huh. And also when a gazelle wakes up, uh -huh. knows that for it to survive, uh -huh. it has to run uh -huh. faster than uh -huh. the fastest lion. Yes. Uh -huh. So it's upon us. Yes. Our future is in our hands. Yes. We either strangle it mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. we, le we make it blossom. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if we can make our future blossom, mm -hmm. then I'm telling you we can cross spiritual bridge, yes. we can cross investment bridge, yes. and we can cross social bridges yes. without mm -hmm. any hindrance. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. And, uh, uh, and uh, tunashukuru sana kwa kujitolea kwako sure. na kuja kutufunza na kutukumbusha mbomo mengi. Yeah. Thank you so much mtazamaji kwa kusababu ya ku kuwa na sisi kila, uh, kila wakati ambao tuluko na hii show yetu and we are so much grateful another thing I would like to say that if kuna mambu nasikia tujaongea mambu ya saving we spoke in our last episode please check it out Mamlaka TV uh, YouTube channel Elevate Youth and please always share like and also subscribe God bless you so much and see you yeah. bye bye thank you so much <laughs>